to me now, boys. Oh, you... Good to know. That's it. Yeah. Well, hello, Carlos. Hello. As you all know, we during the year we have show courses, and in many show courses we have the nice surprise that among the participants of the show course is an alumnus who come back to take the course. And this is the case of Carlos Madera Parra from Colombia. In which year you have been doing your MSc, Carlos? Okay, I was here in 2001, started the master program here, and I finished in 2003, the middle of 2003. I mean, seven years ago I was finished my master program here in IHE. But I never lose the contact with IHE because it's almost my second home here. That is nice to know. <laughs> I will uh, write it as a quote. And uh, in which uh, show course are you involved in now? Okay, I, I, now I'm doing my PhD in my country, in working in natural wastewater treatment plant, especially in constructed wetlands. And now in this, I take the short course, wetlands for water quality. For me, it's a good idea to see the, the short courses that's offered by UNESCO IHE. Most of them were useful for the people they are doing some field. In my case, this short course was very interesting because it's part of my research PhD research. For this reason, I come back here after quite a long time to remember my memory when I was studying here. But um, the short course was very interesting, very useful for me when I go back home and continue my research, PhD research there. And also some projects is running now in the same field with IHE and my university in Cali, Colombia. So tell us about your researches oh, and okay. your everyday life in Colombia. Oh, okay, every day. Now I'm just, in my university, just I'm doing only my research part. I finished my proposal. I expect to defend the proposal in May, probably. Oh, nearby. Yeah, it's almost very near. And after that, I start the research part. The research part is taking place in the, the city near to Cali, uh, where the landfill is located. Because my idea is to work in using the Cosute Wellen for removal of the heavy metal. It's from the Lichy landfill. But here, I actually is working with white water, using Cosute Wellen for white water treatment, it's using the same technology, the same concepts. But we are we I use a different kind of the wastewater. Every day, as you know, the research student, you need to check the new literature. You to be update every day, trying to follow the experimental setup to to collect the sample, to do some lab work, to write the, some details about the work, how it's going on. Um, some teach in my university, but small, not too much, because my focus is my PhD. I have many discussions with some people in my university, and also with the SONE staff here in IHE, especially with the, uh, Dr. Rousseau and Professor Lenz. Uh, once a week or every two weeks, I have some discussion, trying to get some advice for those people, because I know they have large experience in this field. And trying to find out, every day you found something new, Every day you learn something. Also, I share my experiences. I have contact with one of my classmates at that time. Some of them are doing the PhD, but not in the same field, but they give me some good tips. Good tips. I don't do that. To keep in mind something. It's good. But I do that by my personal email or my contact. But sometimes I found some people, my classmates, in the alumni list. And I mail in there and, and those people and they reply to me quickly. And so say, you are in touch with other Yes, I, 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 I try to keep class. touch. What's, not all of them, but the people that continue study, I have a contact with all of them as is doing the PhD. And he immediately integrated all, all the Latins, actually participants, because they were looking for a good dancer and they included to be part of the Latin European part, one of those yeah. seasons. Yeah. Uh, I, the, oh. I, I was not in the performance, but I was in the cook group, the cooking group. I cook some special food for my country. But I, I, just when I do that, I remember when the period was here, because at that time I make, I make the performance, trying to dance the cumbia from Colombia. It was the first time in my life I danced this kind of the song, the rhythm. But this year was 
also this very good and the people enjoy the performance yeah. the there food are that don't change. I met, yeah the <laughs> chain i met new people because you know when you come here in IHE or obviously you try to update your knowledge and so on but also you meet new people you come in you extend your network friends and also colleagues this is good for for me and for example in this short course i met one guy from filipina he's working the same field like me and uh, okay i i, we, I met some, we had some very good ideas trying to carry out later and on. have you been in the short course supported by the nufik yeah the i got scholarship? i got the scholarship yeah. okay I, I know the short course by by the um, electronic uh, list on the network on alumni also for the Newspaper I actually produce. I don't know, remember the, how often mm -hmm. produce, but I, I got the information from them, also for the website I achieve. And I look at how I can apply because you know sometimes it's quite difficult to get money for come here, even for to and the other rest of the money for accommodation, food, transport, and so on. And I found this available to apply for a scholarship from yeah. the Colombian people. I applied for NUFI NFP, and unfortunately I got it. And for this reason, I I. I was here, I am here in IHE. Uh, I'm very happy because we have many alumni well, uh, applying for refresher seminars and in Latin America, well, we are not so no, lucky yeah. to have one per year, but uh, several alumni also apply for short courses because you can uh, apply for fellowship, there are discounts also and that can be another way to have a refresh but in Delft. Yeah, I think another thing for the Colombia or not for the Colombia, for Latin American alumni or just professional, don't be afraid to apply for a scholarship because the people believe it's ah it's not easy, it's quite difficult, it's too hard to get the scholarship and so on. Sometimes it's not really for the reason they didn't do. Yeah, they don't like to apply because they oh, take long time it's not easy, I know for me. Yeah, I apply. Obviously, I don't know how many people apply for the scholarship from Colombia, but unfortunately, I got mm -hmm. I got the scholarship. But I think my 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 idea is wherever you are in which country you are in in Latin America, just don't hesitate. Apply for the scholarship because sometimes you are lucky and you got, you can get the scholarship to be here. Because for me, the refresh core is very important. Even the models or the model that I actually have is to share, even to combine to miss the experience between short course participants and the alumni is doing the MSC is very good. In my case, was very fantastic because I can share my experience, my knowledge, also receive from the experience and the knowledge on the normal student doing the, the, the model. Was very good, very good. I think this is a very good strategy, even I thinking about how I can use this kind of model in my university because I think it's very good. Very uh, was very surprised to me. For me, my core was Seven people was doing the short course, like short course participant. It's, I think it's quite yeah. high. It's a large number of participants. Well, we have a really happy alumnus. Yeah, yeah, very <laughs> happy with this short course. So I, I hope happy. you will uh, come again, maybe for a short course, or maybe yes, for yes, a, absolutely. in a, another opportunity. And yeah, I um, think that many of your colleagues will be very happy to see you. Yeah, this, uh, I like channel. to see all my colleagues. <laughs> but another thing is good. With, okay, I I'm doing my short course, but also I have time to meet some staff here to to ask in some question or to share some information about my topic, my PhD topic. Because okay, I don't, I don't. For me, it's not clear why I can do something, and I'm trying to get the appointment with some staff here, and also the short course to provide this opportunity to contact face to face with some staff here it's also another uh, advantage to be so here so you feel at home yeah yeah the, <laughs> in the FECOM if everyone is in Colombia <laughs> okay Carlos thank you very much for your no. time and your words he's a very busy man in these three weeks yeah and, well, very busy uh, well yeah. wishing you the best and that you come to visit in another time to of us. course I hope so yes thank you very much oh so, thank you to you